So I really don't have anything. I just kind of spawned a couple seconds ago, but I figured that it'd be a good idea to... Uh, oh, okay. That works. So one of my friends who watches my videos a lot, he was telling me, uh, you know, like, oh, go to this place, go to this place. And the thing is, I don't know a lot of the places. Considering how long I've been playing this game, let alone how many videos I've made on it, uh, I, I should know this map by now, but I really don't. So I thought maybe we'd go around and explore a couple of places. So just like everything in Apocalypse Rising 2, everything is prone to change. Over time, things can and will change, and I don't doubt that. But in its current state, I really should get to learn the map. So that way, if somebody tells me, hey, I'm here, I don't have to fiddle around with the map and look if we counter in players well heck i mean i got it i got a bar it should be okay so i'm thinking about just going around to the major towns and just looking and see what types of uh what types of secrets i can find but for now i'm at crater lake and it's kind of nice there's like little some little houses over there the uh, mechanic shop where i found a couple clothing pieces so i probably should also find some drinks and food and stuff because that that's a huge killer of me a lot of the times i'll die because i'm busy trying to find drinks and i'm too focused on that to notice any players that are around me so uh, I should probably locate some of those before I start dying again. <laughs> that would be my, uh, probably my best bet here. Ooh, drink, yay. Medpacks, food, yay. Give me some food and I'm a happy guy. I'm a simple man. <laughs> so this is something I actually don't know, is what type of loot can spawn in RT. So I don't know if any weapons spawn up here. I don't know if there's any rare loot that spawns up here. I haven't really been up here too much. Maybe just <laughs> a handful of times. If there is any kind of rare loot or anything, please... Ooh, ooh, actually, weapon crate. Okay, so there's something that spawns up here. If there's anything else that spawns up here, though, I would definitely love to know. So I guess the next place that I will check out, if this guy will let me is the, uh, not the radio tower, but the, uh, I guess the radio station, would it be, maybe? So, I mean, I guess this is an okay place if you just want to, like, hang out. I don't really know exactly what strategic advantage this particular place would have. Besides that, it's not really near anything outside of Ashland, which I guess we'll head to next, if I could figure out how to use a compass. So, Ashland is a place that I end up in pretty often in my videos, uh, mostly because it just seems to be... I seem to spawn a lot in this general area down here, so I just kind of end up waltzing in there. Not that there's anything wrong with that, Ashland's a very cool town, but uh, I don't know everything that it has to offer, so I'll definitely take a look around. One thing that's really good is that there's a grocery store here, and definitely these grocery stores are very helpful places if you need food and drinks and even med packs for that matter. I do think that I hear a zombie attacking somebody. Uh, I don't know where that came from exactly, but I'm gonna keep my distance here because I don't want to lose the flow of what I'm doing here. None of the zombies in the town seem to be triggered, so, uh, we could probably just start waltzing in there a little bit. Nope, I definitely heard a door. That was definitely a door. So I guess that the next place that we could head to would be up maybe to a monastery in Harrisburg across the bridge. Ooh, look at all that. that <laughs> look at all that Model 459 ammo. That's pretty cool. I would take it, but I like my M9 just a little bit too much. Cam Carbine, not bad, not bad. Model 29. So I'm finding some decent civilian stuff in here. That's not bad. So it's basically just a, an enlarged church. Uh, like the churches that are spread around the map is essentially what kind of um, loot maybe that you'd want to find here or that would be here. Uh, but you have added bonuses like there's a kitchen here. There's some health boosters, which I, I'm going to take one of those actually. With the different hallways too, you have tighter corridors for uh, close quarters combat with people. It may not be everyone's favorite thing to fight people up close, but uh, if need be, you got a lot of doors and hallways to hide in. It's kind of cool here. I like it. You also got plenty of your zombie friends to keep you entertained, so. Doesn't look like anyone's down there in Harrisburg, so I think that we could probably just take our, a couple steps down in there, see what, uh, dip our toes in the water, if you will. Ooh, don't try this at home. Uh, I'm okay. Yay. No Stevens were harmed in the making of this video. So what I already like about Harrisburg is that there is a police station here, and that's one thing that was also in Ashland, I believe. Yes, there was. The police stations are very good if you want to find uh, new weapons, if you want to find new, uh, new ammo, stuff like that. It's very helpful. So the fire station here, too, is also good for finding things like med kits which I have a good, a good example of one here. You'll also be able to find different types of clothing items as well as some ammunition. Oh, and a gun apparently, there's some guns here. So also throughout the map, there's things like these random little houses around here. And inside of the houses, you can find civilian weapons, you can find clothing items, things like food in the kitchens. Now barns are also gonna be good friends of yours here. You're able to find civilian snipers, you're able to find civilian rifles, things like the bar, which coincidentally, I just found one here. Uh, there's bar ammo here too. And overall, barns are going to be a pretty good place to start out with if, you, if you're a fresh spawn or if you just really don't have that good of loot. Let's check out power plant and see what's going on in there. Now, power plant is a bit of a mixed bag in the sense that you can find some pretty good loot here, but people, at least in my experience, don't seem to be here. I don't know why. That's not to say that people don't come here. There are still people that are here, and it seems like every time that I'm just trying to find some basic loot, people are here. 
So inside of the power plant, there are things like military weapon crates that can have ammo and guns inside of them. Those are always really helpful. Also with the height of power plant of being on top of where those, uh, I guess the silos are, you definitely do have a pretty good advantage over the people who are in power plants. So I guess one place that we can explore real quick is the volcano. Now the volcano is not too great of a place. I guess that I could say it doesn't hold much strategic value. There are no real houses in here because it's a volcano, but there is a heli crash in here with some decent loot. There's a couple zombies, so you got to watch out for them. But also uh, there's the volcano bit of it. <laughs> Now, to make sure not to jump in there because uh, you will uh, you will die and you will lose your loot because there's no way to get back in there or get out. So you definitely don't want to jump in there. This next place over here is a little bit dangerous because it's really close to uni and a lot of players like to go to uni for uh, obvious reasons. Now, if you don't know what I mean by obvious reasons, there's a lot of loot that can be found there and I will show you guys that here in a couple minutes. But first, I want to go over uh, Salem. It's a pretty interesting town. I mean, there's a grocery store here. It's, you know, it's close to uni. So if you do need loot and you're in a pinch, you definitely find some food and med packs and stuff like that here. One good tip is you can stand in between the two shelves. And whenever you press your inventory key, which is G, you can hit the little plus buttons on the side to expand it. So that way you can see all the shelves instead of having to individually go through them. It just kind of saves some time if you're in a pinch. But you have your basic necessities like the grocery store and the uh, mechanic shop and the, uh, the church and stuff. Now, what's good about having a church is that in the churches, things like... Like sniper rifles as well as various ammo types spawn up at the roof. So Salem's a pretty cool little town. So I don't know if I'll be able to go over every building inside of university, but the cafeteria is a really good place if you need, like look at all these little cabinets here. You could find tons of food. Oh, cooking pot hat. Oh yeah. Med kits, even some ammo here I'm noticing. And then on the other side, you could do the same thing. You press your inventory key. You could go through the different plus menu here, plus menus. Uh, and there's things like uh, food and drinks, which you'll need to survive. Okay, all right, that was not supposed to happen. It seems I have made an error in my calculations to stabbing a zombie. I'm very sad, as you can see by this very unhappy look on my face. So I guess now, despite, you know, I, I, I died, but, you know, I'm here now, so I may as well. So here's another good place to go to. The Middle Islands here can sometimes have some really good loot, as I'll show you hopefully in a minute here. So there's a weapon crate that spawns here. There's nothing in it right now, but it's pretty close vicinity to uni. Now, I'm just hoping that I can get back to the cafeteria before someone steals all my things, because I don't want to lose my things. I'm so close to Loot City. Yes, yes, body, body. <gasps> no, my body despawned. Uh, uh, I'm so stupid. Well, uh, in the uni, you're able to find several military crates. One of them's here in the cafeteria. There's also one inside of the library. Actually, there's a couple, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, University has a series of cool buildings. Uh, there's lots of uh, different loot that you can find in them. I didn't explore all of them, but this is a pretty decent sized map. So I'm going to have to go around here and show off what I can and try to be as brief as possible.